few decades to see how far we've come. I can remember the burning of leaves and trash during my childhood. You can't do that anymore. We've seen great strides in workplace protection, the use of environmentally friendly chemicals, and the banning of smoking in all indoor spaces in New Jersey. We should take cues from these initiatives to further our goal of clean air for oil. While we are in the midst of finding the new fuels that can guarantee energy independence without damaging our planet and ourselves, what can we do locally right now to improve the environment, reduce the amount of fossil fuels we use, and to take a large positive step forward for our community? A group of citizens who have come together as Sustainable Cherry Hill has an answer. We respectfully ask our mayor and council to endorse a program we're calling Cherry Hill, a clean air community. As a first step, we're asking the council to adopt a resolution to both publicize and enforce the New Jersey idling laws for all motor vehicles. The three minute limit on vehicle idling has been in effect for over 20 years, but has not been effectively publicized to the general public. Sustainable Cherry Hill thinks it's time to shine a bright light on this sensible measure and implement a series of programs throughout the township involving the schools, the business community, and our township administration and police. We are advocating both a, a carrot and stick approach, acknowledging that most people still don't know about the laws, but that commercial truckers certainly do. How nice it would be to have signs on our major roadways and township vehicles proclaiming, welcome to Cherry Hill, a clean air community, and perhaps something additional like, we enforce the no idling laws. As well, we ask our elected officials who urge lawmakers at the county and state levels to join us in this effort. With all due respect, this is a no-brainer. Idling is the new secondhand smoke. We should do this as a community because it just makes sense, especially for our kids who will have to breathe this air for the next 50, 60, or 70 more years. And with that, I'd like to now introduce uh, one of our youngest and brightest stars in this effort, uh, resident of Cherry Hill, along with her family, Shelby Robbins, uh, from the Bret Hart School. And, and also with Shelby this evening will be Brooke Goderoff. Mm -hmm. Take it Thank you. Get it right, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> These young ladies are with our Bret Hart students, and they're with Girl Scout Troop 3055. Hello, my name is Shelby Robbins, and I'm, and I'm here with Brogada. We are 10 years old and going to fifth grade at Bret Hart Elementary School. We are Girl Scouts. We are here because we and our Girl Scouts want to make this school night of free. I like to add a school packs that to pick up and drop off lines because small children at the child pipe level breathing it all of that bad there. There are lots of idling cars and buses at schools during dropouts and pickup times. Idling is especially bad for children with asthma or other breathing diseases. Idling is also bad because it wastes gas. If you are idling for more than 30 seconds, that is expensive and a waste of non-renewable resources. Finally, idling is bad for the environment because of pollution. All of those pollutants are causing more global warming. I became interested in idle free schools while doing a project in fourth grade. I told my Girl Scout troop about the problem and they wanted to help too. So we made posters for the Bret Hart. I asked my principal, Mr. Kafagia, if I could put up the posters and he said it was, it was fine. The other Girl Scouts and I put up the signs around the school. I brought the signs with me so that you could see them. We also want to speak to the school board about our ideas about idling and ask them to make Cherry Hill a yield for it. Tonight, we want the town council to agree to help us put up signs at the school parking lots and drop off a pickup cart up the street next to the school. Cherry Hill also streets, and that's where we need the no idling sense to be. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>